Mi'kmaq voices drowned out Justin Trudeau's Halifax area housing announcement, angered by allegations of racism. Obviously, this, uh, this story is extremely, extremely troubling, which is why uh, there is a need for a full investigation on this. Earlier, Mi'kmaq supporters pushed into a fisheries office as tensions around the lucrative maritime Elver fishery, shut down by Ottawa this year, ramp up. Blaze Silliboy and Kevin Hartling now at the centre of it all, after they say they were arrested by fishery officers for exercising what they believe to be their treaty right to fish baby eels last week on Nova Scotia's south shore. Instead of being taken to the nearby fisheries office, they say the officers took their boots and cell phones and stranded them at this gas station in the middle of the night. When they left us with no shoes, like, I just kind of, like, I kind of devastated. Like, I told him, like, man, this is, like, outrageous. So you're leaving me with no shoes. He said, you know the consequences. Hours from home, the pair say they walked throughout the night looking for a hotel that was actually 66 kilometers away. Friends eventually found them at daylight at this convenience store. Well, it reminds me of the uh, Saskatchewan cases where uh, the police were dropping the Indigenous people off late at night and they were dying. They were freezing to death. The federal fisheries minister acknowledges an incident, quote, involving the arrest and release of two individuals and says DFO has launched an investigation. But after the men posted photos of their torn socks and blistered feet online, there's anger and Mi'kmaq chiefs are calling for accountability. The first thing we were looking for is, is uh, for those individuals who are responsible to immediately be fired. Chiefs throughout the province also want an emergency meeting with fisheries officials to talk about what they call an example of systemic racism. Heidi Petrachik, Global News, Dartmouth, Nova Scotia.